I was just like, okay, such is life. I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't approach so hard or aggressively, I guess. If I could play one character today, who would it be? Play whoever you want. Whoever you're feeling. Okay. You, you don't want to work on a specific matchup? No. I, my uh, my ideas are trying to be a little more macro than micro right now. Okay. Um, one thing I mentioned to you a long time ago is building safe damage in all your matchups, too. Yep. So you've been doing that better and better. That's something I've been thinking about a lot lately, actually. Overall, it's just really bad. I don't know. I think it's necessary because I need to get you to certain percents, and then I can play my game. If I can get you up to like this percent is actually perfect, because now down tilt starts the combo into like everything. Um. Two percent too low for that. It's kind of nice, like going home and not having many people to play against or anyone. I can just practice punishing. It's awesome. It was kind of yeah. yeah. I uh, I get to play with Knox. Yeah. How did you drop their lead? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what happened? No. I don't know, dude. It's, it's it's just life. I just I just lose leads. To play like a dummy. Um, I had to play Knox for a while. Came over, went out, practiced. Jumping, you're jumping. You gotta stop jumping out of hit stun. Save my guy. I missed the B button. Yeah, you missed the L cancel. I did. I did. It's because I spot touched. So let's let's go over real quick just this. Mm -hmm. Is you came to near where the tree was? Right? Yeah, like right here. Uh, yeah, you came to like here. Mm -hmm. uh, come to that spot. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
And then when I didn't do anything, you backed off to roll away, roll back. You backed off to here. Okay. And you, you want to go back to this tree kind of quickly. Because as soon as you, you go to here, you relieve too much, right? Yeah. And it, unless I come up, you have to come back to pressure this. Okay. Does that make sense? Because, like, yeah. no, you actually conceded the pressure because you were there, you can't, you gave up, and then you just didn't have the rest of the plan. So I, I've taken stage from you and then given it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so once you take it, um, yeah, you, you can do, like, a, a like a kind of ebb and flow yeah. where, like, you're here and then you, you, you wave dash back kind of hit. Mm -hmm. But try to just maintain as much pressure, and even if you do back off, tr make more moves to... To close the distance, right? Okay. Because when Falco has, uh, go to near the red, yeah, in the middle of the red. When Falco is here, mm -hmm. he has too much control. Yeah. Y you don't want that, right? You're giving him room to short hop laser or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it, let's say there wasn't a platform. Mm -hmm. This is the range where you like full hop back air me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you just kind of just like yep. come down and do the light one or whatever. Or, um, or you just full hop drill me or whatever. Okay. But like, the point of the matchup is to never get it to like that far. When you're like at this distance, like I don't feel that good as Fox. But like when we're here, there's a high chance Fox Falco will do something, you know, and I can whip punch. Right? Okay. I guess I could like try to think of it like Luigi, I guess, because you want to keep in like the distances of like his wave dash lengths, right? Like if you keep like at the full, like the longest wave dash length, you want to like be in the middle of that, like if you get what I'm saying. Kind of. Falco, you kind of the same thing, I guess. Just like, so he, you can't, he can't threaten the short hop laser, and I can get in if he does. Or something yeah, like exactly. That. You just kick him if he jumps, right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. But once you get to oh, yeah. that distance and then peel back, you, you like make your something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's up, Saga? Alright. Now that I realize me switching matchups, I, I feel like I might go over too many different topics. I don't care. Topic with you about uh, Falcon in particular sure. is um, during knockdown. Mm -hmm. So let me build you to knockdown. Okay. So during knockdown, there are a couple times where on wake up you do a stationary, uh, you do a stationary move, and this is particularly weak against Falcon because he has high startup on a lot of his moves. Yeah. Right. So uh, this and this have high startup, right? Yep. So when you do wake up shine, you're you're giving me opportunities to to, to land my startup on where you are stationary. Okay. Right. Uh, these types of openings are, are are better for different matchups like Fox. Right. For instance, wake up shine is really good against spaces. Yeah. Right. But against Falcon and against other tech chasers, maybe not against Sheik, but particularly against Falcon. Because he has high startup on his moves and he has high value on being accurate, right? you, you don't want to wake up and be stationary. So this includes spot dodge, grab, shine. These are a couple of the ones that you're doing. Right? Up um, tilt or anything like up smash? Up, up tilt. Up smash is a little bit safer. Okay. Um, up tilt is somewhat safe, but like yeah, basically all these variations are just stationary wake ups. Okay. Right. So I need you to explore uh, two different wake ups yep. to help this, which is. Dash and wave dash. Right? Okay. So uh, I'm gonna knock you down. Sure. Okay. And so, uh, yeah. And then once you wave dash, then you do the same idea that you had originally. Okay. Right. So you can even um, wave dash forward and shine, or or do other things. But try to try to mix it not being stationary. Okay. Right? Um, sometimes I do. Right. So you did stationary again. Right? Okay. You, you woke up and did shine exactly where. I, I did. I wave dash back. Uh, no, no, you tech back and then did you, I really? You, okay. you wave dash down, I think, or okay. whatever. But like, okay. the point is, is like, you, you don't want to. There you go, right? Okay. And, and maybe shine's not the right one because it's on top of your body. So maybe yeah. you do like wave dash back near. Okay. Right? You like come at me. Rising right? near or something like that, or, well, or near to you. I can control the, more space then. There's just... there's a lot of different solutions, but the, the the biggest thing is when you're being defensive with your wake up options, you have to realize why they're losing. Okay. Right, and a lot of the time you're losing because you're doing a stationary one and. Um, here's here's a, like an advanced trick that Zamu does, or like other foxes will do to, to cover this weakness, right? Yep. Which is uh, he'll do shine, up smash or shine grab, yeah. So like on wake up, right? Yeah. So uh, miss. Uh, miss the tech? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't. Matter. Okay. You can miss the tech or or or, or, or not, but. And then yeah, exactly. So yeah, you wanna you wanna practice it from now. Okay. Right? Do it again. Try it again. And then so like first frame shine grab exactly. Or first frame shine up smash, right? Or you can even do shine aerial, right? So, so these versions protect yourself to some degree versus just, just doing shine, got right? It. You want to have a plan more than just kind of react to shine, okay. right? Um, your your plan was layered and so thought ahead that like it beat the thing I was gonna do to beat shine. Got it. Right. So I need to think. Okay, I can I can do that. Sure. Because right. you're right now you're losing on wake up options and I want to explain how to beat them. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one is to be stationary, or not be stationary, the other is to more, use more advanced moves. I will try this. Okay. Yeah, exactly, something like that. If I, if it threatened it a little more, it didn't beat it, but... Exactly. Sometimes you can't uh, brace you know, too fast too there, because <laughs> yeah. you have to just appreciate what's going on with the edges. So that's why it's, I think it's a very hard stop. <laughs> right. 
choking me out there. I know. <laughs> I was keeping you back. Oh, that was bad. Also be okay with just one. Okay. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get tech chase. Okay, so like when your percent is like very high, yeah. it's better to get grabbed than attacked. No, yeah, I agree with that. Right. So like over a hundred, try to try to think like it might be better to, to block the attack. Because you want to reset the neutral. Like at least it'll. If I block it, okay, if I if I don't block, I get need and die. Yeah, Guaranteed exactly. die, yeah, right? Exactly. But if I reset it, the neutral, at least I can potentially get out of a tech chase. Yeah. Okay. Same with, like, rolling or spot dodging. Yeah. Like, uh, because they might avoid attacks and they're weak to, like, them just following you. Yeah. There might be a smaller chance of you dying, though, because they're killing the mist, right? Yeah. So it's, it's diff just different evaluations on when you do makeups and stuff, right? There are too many times, um, okay, so, uh, look at me. Yep. Uh, there are too many times where you go from this distance mm -hmm. to, like, here without a good plan. Okay. You, you go from here, so, like, you, you start here, right, we're, we're, like, just moving, and then what I want you to do is kind of, like, get to here, it, uh, like, almost halfway. Okay. The, the lesson is called cutting the distance in half, right? Cutting. Yep. So, yeah, exactly. You, you want to go from far to, like, a more tangible distance, right? So, like, when we fight from this distance, right? Yep. Let, let's just, let's just stop a bit. Right. So, when we fight from here, the, your approaches should, should be pretty weak. Yes. Right? Like, the nair, the drills, like, all of these, like, the way you grab, right, should be pretty weak. But when we, we talk about your approaches from here, they get a little bit more concrete. Yeah. Right? So, you want to you wanna stop making your plans from here. Okay. You want to start making your plans, yeah. Like more at the halfway point. Okay. Yeah. Right. So the lesson is to cut the distance so that you can remake your plan again. Yep. Right. There, there's almost no way you can make an offensive plan from here. No. Right. It gives and, you too much time. Well, no, you're just not accurate. It, it, you know, you don't have to think about me too much. It's just like no matter what you do with your offensive plan, it's just not going to be accurate. Something's going to happen. Something. It's gonna change the way you went in was wrong, right? But from yeah. here, the the certainty is much higher. You know, if you just start, right? That's a good point. I think that's something that I really struggle with too. Like, um, I undershoot a lot, right? Yeah. So that, that could be an issue of just me spacing poorly and having too much of a gap, giving you too much time to react to it. So it, it like it's not necessarily exactly. me undershooting, but it's you being able to react to get out of it in time. Well, both, right? So when you start from some when you start from this far, you're doing maximum dash forwards. Yeah. To reach right yeah. so the maximum dash forward the analogy for this is an all-in for me you put every single chip possible in because you have no way of going, going back to where you started yeah. right so when we both play I see this distance as soon as you leave I'm checking this distance mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so basically if 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 we start I'm um, sorry I want you to do the running dash at me sure uh, so I want you to pause as soon as you start the dash exactly so uh, uh, pan out. Okay, so I can I know this distance. Mm -hmm. uh, press the C to the right. Exactly. Oh, okay. So I know where we are. Try to keep it uh, centered to the stage. Exactly. So like I know where both of us are, right? Mm -hmm. And basically, all I have to do is prepare for all in. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I have to prepare for. I I have to prepare for nothing else. No other version of your attack, right? There's so much space here yeah. where you could be doing stuff, but you elicit not to. You elicit to go for my face. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. All right? Sure. So, when, when you start cutting the distance, exactly, you can start making much better choices closer. All right, so okay. ne never start your plan from so such an uncertain distance. Okay. What's up, Snoopy? It's it's particularly weak against Falcon. That's what 
love this. It's like strong against some other characters. But because Falcon has start up, he wants you to, to stay still. Too. It's like, um, I get caught with random knees in neutral. I think a lot of that can, like, be attributed to, like, stationary positioning as well. It's like, exactly. you need to throw out a knee only where you think they will be, or where they were, in order for it to, like, kind of I'm like, okay, sure, so if I just, like, keep moving in, like, specific spots, so, like, if you throw me down, or, like, I get knocked down or something like that, just any movement, like, yes. if I get knocked down, like, right here, and you want to put a knee in my face. I have to be precise. Exactly. So if I just go like that or something like that and like crouch under or something like yeah. that. Okay. You take the soft version of it. Which is fine. Yeah. So this lesson applies to Marth too or any character that has sweet spot moves. Yep. Which is... To prepare. Yeah. You can choose not to be in the same spot to make it harder for them to be accurate. They're yep. only going to win in accurate situations, right? And there's another level of this too which is this, right? So I jump yep. and then you know where my knees are. Yep. Right? So, oh, yeah. so let, let's say I do the stationary jump, right? Yep. This stationary jump only has so many drifts. Yep. So just avoid this stationary spot, right? Yep. And it just requires you to control yourself in such a way where you're not making your plan from so far away, but you can't anticipate my move either. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go! Oh, that's why you're dash dancing. I think my dash dancing actually is pretty good. It could be better. I was but that's pretty good. to be soft about it, you know? I can stomp or knee if you're if you're just, you know, you know yeah. pinning yourself. Sure. Right? It goes like the accurate thing. Yep. You know, in a way you become stationary. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then and then okay, so that drill started. Yeah, it's it super unsafe. It's just like straight in the middle of the stage. Just give you plenty of time to like especially since I didn't fast fall it. Well, you also did maximum drift. You started from here. Yeah. And then so like I saw this whole yep. arc, right? Yeah. The there second was, I jumped, I was like, yeah, yeah I knew it. The only thing I have to do is just back away from you. Yep. Right. Okay. You commit everything and I just I just look at you doing it. Yep. And you'll you'll watch the pros only hard commit when it's hundred percent. Like, I have a good understanding of what I want to do, it's just a lot of it isn't flushed out, or you know, I'm, I'm missing these crucial little steps like this like, that I just don't realize. When you cut the distance in half, you're yeah. gonna find more opportunities to do what you wanted to do. Yeah. You have good ideas, but right now you're like preventing yourself from getting to the spot. Thank you. 
That was good. That was good. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a high percent. It's hard. It's I need to just like give you that spot and then just back air and like up tilt you. You I like, think threaten. I think you were stationary and you up tilted. I think I did, yeah. I, I need your up tilt. Alright, let's open the lesson archive. There's a lesson. Neato. Yeah, it goes over all the topics I went over. I need to jab shield. Okay, I will do that, Saga. Thank you. It's a Part of it is just like, I have all the tools. I think a lot of the tools in my repertoire, but... Um, I just, honestly, I just don't have enough experience to, like, know situations where I'm like, oh, that's better. So, yeah, I will definitely do that too much. I'll just change that instead. Instead of jab shielding, uh, I'll just shine grip. Thank you, Saga. So, with jab, there's mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity for me to roll yep. right off the jab yep. or SDI the jab. Okay. Right, with shine, there's less variation of that. Yep. Especially if I, you know, guarantee it's something like just a shine grip or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And this will happen with other matchups where you jab them and then, and then they CC down smash you. Okay. Yeah, that's... Okay, what was the first thing you talked about before cutting the distance? What's up, Salas? Um, cutting the distance was the first thing... We no, talked... we talked about something before that. Of uh, Falco? Not giving up, like, edge... I guess corner pressure? I guess technically? Oh, um... Just like Falco. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was, was, um... Moving too far away. Don't, uh, moving too far away from Falco. It's... You were leaving. You were re relieving pressure from him, mm -hmm. cutting the distance in half mm -hmm. before you like kind of start your next approach or your next decision. Um, then we talked about uh, being stationary against Falcon. Yeah, that one's really important to remember. Uh, can you think of any other characters like besides? Uh, I mean, because it doesn't really follow suit with like every tech chaser, right? Like not Sheik or anything. Uh, like so that. Sheik, in the sense that when you're stationary, she can grab you. Wake up shine's pretty good against Sheik. <laughs> Yeah, but the, not quite the, the, same the, the thing is, is about it is because because she's throwing your body on top of her, you for the grab, yep. and there's no delay, mm -hmm. right? So the the frame of reference I used was it was an accurate delayed move, right? So another character is Marth. He has some startup on his move, not a lot, but it's a it's a laggy move that needs precision, right? Um, Jigglypuff to some degree is this way, uh, not necessarily, right? But like, basically this this applies to any character that wants to hit you on wake up or on stationary positioning is okay. they'll get to a certain spot and if you stay there you gave them the power yep right okay I've improved their accuracy yeah you've Just improved <laughs> their accuracy well it's it's a matter of, of locking down space right so like if, if you don't move yep. I can get to my favorite spot and knee you ew Huh, that's right. interesting. Like so, like you know, like if I'm if I'm not doing anything, you should be able to zero to death. Yeah. Right. Like you should be able to get your favorite opening and zero to death. Yep. You're not zero to death. Right. So the 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 point of it is that both of us should be so good that if we know exactly where the opponent is, we can hit them, and it's the best hit we have. Yeah. Right? And there are a couple times where you know where Falcon is, but you're not giving him the best hit you have. Okay. It's because you need to flesh out those ideas a little bit better, right? You're, you're attacking from this distance or something, where you can attack from this distance. Okay. And that's something I've been working on a lot, too, is, um, I just, it's like slightly into what you said, it was like, closer to the percent game, what you need to do. Like, I need to have an objective, what I should do, not exactly, but like a rough estimate of what I should do at each percent kind of thing. Yeah. Right? So it's like at early percent, you kind of just want to knock him down, because then you can just get your juicy combos off of it. But, uh, I don't know, I've been thinking about this a lot with other characters, but Falcon is definitely one that is not as fleshed out as much. Yeah, I would say the percent thing, the, the easiest way I would do it is, one is you're kind of right, like, do big summary terms like Knockdown, yep. and then the other ones is, like, turn off moves. Um, Ooh, like, what do you mean? Like, so, I, I, for Fox I can't say too much because a sure. lot of his moves are, are very strong at all percents. Yep. Um, but for... for I guess drill, but I guess drill grab. No, no, drill. Good. Drill works at every percent. Say, I'm pretty sure that's good at drill all times. Drill works at every percent. Yeah. Shine works at every percent. So like Fox breaks this rule up, but like uh, for for Sheik, this is very obvious, which is like many characters you turn off aerials below forty right, okay. during crouch cancel range. Yeah, right? yeah. 
the well, same with you. Like you, you should not be narrating when I'm in crouch cancel range, right? Because yeah, I, like if I you're theoretically, holding, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do that because yeah, I agree. Right. So there are certain moves that are turned off, but Fox has so much freedom, in, uh, he doesn't necessarily have to do that, right? But like, same with the types of approaches you do in certain matches, certain situations, mm -hmm. you should turn off things that you're good at or you were using because it's losing and you need to know why it's losing right and that's a hard part well it's like you do wake up shine and wake up shine beats so many people right yeah but then why is falcon beating you so you have to just figure out which ones are beating you right mm -hmm. and then why okay. so like you, you're losing the falcon because you're stationary yep okay ready go <laughs> I was like, oh, I shouldn't hold in. Yeah, you gotta hold out. Yeah. Just here. Yeah, it was really unsafe. Yeah, it was too tight. And yeah, you no know, periods. I just it, it closes my it closes the gap. Or like I just can't do anything. If I'm if I'm like right here, it, it shuts my options off. And just yeah. like yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. So when you catch yourself here, uh huh. So I'm back dash dash here yeah. dash one more in. Okay, I just get a full dash in. No, so it's it's just like you let go, right? So one, so sorry. One, two, yeah. let in one more. Okay. So you have to just let go of this dash dance so that you can you can be still. Yeah. So when you catch yourself doing too much, let go and then and then go again. Yeah. Or way dash down. Right. Don't just don't get caught in this. You don't want to get caught in the, the loop. Right. Yeah. Because this is what let me do that. I just ran in with a stop. Okay. You want to like protect yourself with like a back ear or an up tilt. <laughs> I don't think I could have lived anywhere. I think I had more options, but we should get it. So. Fox, baby. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's do some. Ready? When you when you end up yeah backing too far off, consider also yep. that there are times where you should just try to contest this a little bit more. Okay. All right. So just like, like a running up smash yeah. or something, just something. Or, or, that or not, not not less committal. Okay. Near just... near into the spot. Yeah. Right. And then you 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 have this spot now, and then you re you re dash dance from the spot you're near. Okay. All right. And so this near that I'm showing you, it does not have to be anywhere close to Falcon. It just has to be. That lesson going back to cutting the distance in half, right? So let's go to. F we're both under the center of both sure. platforms. Okay? Sure. So I want you to cut the distance in half by doing a nair. Yeah. You're a little too close though. Okay. Do you want me to? Okay. More. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Right. And you want to control. You want to control your your drift from your dash in such a way that yeah, you can you can fast fall it and not go the whole drift forward, right? You, yeah. Exactly. Now you're like pulling back and. Oh, you fade back nair. Sure. Okay. Well, we'll just. You want to go from where you started to halfway, right? And there's a lot of ways you can do it. But you, so far, you're only showing me a couple, right? You're showing me your maximum name. Yep. Right? And you, you want to strengthen your tools so that you can get to halfway and, and show some restraint, right? So, like, let's let's see where the maximum distance is for near. This is where you could near me for max distance, yep. right? Yep. But you can also show me halfway, right? So, so now, like, you have that control, which is you can show two cards from that same spot. You can hit me or you, or you can hit in, right? So when I dash dance, I don't know which nair you're going to show me now. Yeah. I have to consider two things, right? But because you're, you're not strong in these two things, I, I don't have to consider it. I only have to consider max jump. Okay. So I've shown you one option, and that's all you have to deal with, rather than worry about infinite. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Because because you like to do full dash jump, yep. as, I just stay away from you, and as soon as you jump, I know that's the cue to, to just back off more. Okay. That's why you keep undershooting, right? You keep undershooting because you, you keep doing max distance, but if you mix in short ones, yep. and then cut the distance in half, mm. right? I can't tell where you are. Okay. Or, or you just move closer, right? There's there's other ways to cut the distance in half, but one way I'm showing you right now is to, to zone into it. Right? Okay. And you'll see Leffen do this, where like he'll, he'll throw an attack like this. Yeah. Right? I'm coming at you, but it's, it's like right here. It's not on you. It's right where you're going to be, where action is going. It's like the no man's land, kind of, right? Yeah. So, when you cut the distance in half, you're able to make a better decision later. Right? Inse instead of being like, I hope I can get to that. Ready? Okay. Go. Okay, so what I could have done there, uh, I could have, okay, so what, what I did, I threatened the Nair early right here, and he just went out and grabbed. So what I could have done was just, like, wave dash back and wait for you to do anything. And I guess the only thing you could do, I guess, would be stomp in place, but you ended up going for a grab, and I could just repunish with my own grab or an up smash. I think what happened after the Nair is you up smash my shield. Okay, I thought, okay, I thought I Nared, and then you just went in and grabbed. No, maybe, no maybe I, I, I waited for up smash. Okay. So what, yeah, what happened is, is most likely after after you hit my shield is a layer. I wait for the second attack. Got it. Right. So what happened is, is yeah, you didn't you didn't cut the distance in half too well because you're too close, and then I just I just kept shielding. Okay. Proud of me, Sago, I did it. See, I gave it. I gave you the. Uh, I said, okay, so I was committing. You were on the edge, and I was like right here. It's like grab watch. I was like right here. It's like this is all I was doing, and it's like this is all that I need to do. And so that all that I need to do, I guess, is I guess cover your hack stash. I guess, 
right? Well, okay. You, you can yeah. jump up and I just full hop back here, right? Yeah. Well, you did a good thing, which is like you were here, right? And I just ran away. <laughs> well, it's okay if you run away, yeah. but it's the same Falco lesson, which is if you run away, cu come back to pressure, right? Because it, it is true that I can ledge dash come up to here. Yeah, well, okay, what's Falcon's, if you know it, what's Falcon's max distance that you can get with a perfect ledge dash? It's like not much farther than here. That's not bad. I can deal with that. Well, but you, you can get a boost also, grab or like well, dash grab, I guess. Yeah, you just have to know that most Falcons are not gonna hex. They're just not gonna ledge dash grab you this way, right? Or this attack. There's a chance that the lingering attack beats invincibility. Yep. Right. But as you said, once you're here mm -hmm. and you stayed here, that's the problem. Is you yeah. stayed there for too long. Yep. Right. You you go here to debate me. Yep. For a whiff, right? Yep. But if I don't whiff and I'm still standing here, now we're at max distance, and I'm like, oh. I yep. can just slowly cut the distance in half. Okay. Right. So like go go to middle. Now my plan is to there's two plans. I either rush for center or cut the distance in half. Okay. Right. But if you now now go to have the halfway point. My 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 plan is not to cut the distance in no, half. No, it's just to get out of the corner, right? It's yeah, it's really just get out of the corner at all costs. Okay. Or or touch the ledge and, and get out of the corner at all costs, right? But like do you see how when you go to the center now I have like multiple More routes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna try to focus on that a little more then. Just, just realize when when you back off too much, the other person does the same thing to you. Okay. Then once again, there's too many times where you're just running at Fa Falcon. Yep. Right. Uh, Falcon will do these types of things. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, stay to one side. Again. Sure. Right. So Falcon will do these types of things, anticipating you running into him. Yep. And you gotta just cut the distance in half. Okay. And stop. Right. So w when I tell you to do that, like narrow half, it it's so that you can react to what's happening. Right. There's too many times where you're already running into him. Okay. Right. So like I did this near to get halfway. So that my next scenario like covers more options. So I think ultimately what a lot of what we've been talking about is control. Is like better control of like my character and I guess in some ways your character. Manipulation. You can manipulate my character. Yeah. Right? Okay. And and because um because you let me cut the distance in half sometimes, yep. right? My next move is, is stronger, right? Yeah. So like when you get to go go to halfway point from here, right? Now you can up smash me. Yep. Right. So if yeah, exactly. So like if if during this time you cut the distance, I was doing these jumps. That's when you up smash me. Okay. Right. Because oh, it's, yeah. it's just pieces of the puzzle. Like you got a little bit closer and he was still doing the same thing. I'm gonna beat the pattern. Yeah. Or you got closer and he he's still doing the same type of pattern. Some some marts do like this fair down tilt. Yeah. Right. So you, you, the 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 cutting the distance thing in half is so that you're closer and available. Yeah. Because they're not gonna throw this predictable pattern at you when you're this far yeah. or when you're close and threatening them. Yeah, they don't throw to. this pattern when they're s when they feel safe, right? So you you go from safe to threatening to confirm. Okay. And it's it's hard to find that sweet spot. It's it's right here. Don't stop moving. You just need to stop moving because you're you're dashing so much you can't confirm the spot. Okay. This is the spot. You can just jump and hit me. Mm -hmm. Right. If if I do this, you just up smash grab up up uh, shine whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. But because you're moving so much, you're not ready. Hmm. You, you don't know the distance, and you can't act exactly out of it, right? If maybe if you did shield stop. Okay, I can do that. Or or learn different control methods, right? Yeah. But right okay. now, the way you move is not in such a way where you can perfectly recreate this distance at will, right? Mm. Can you at all times recreate this distance? No. No. Right now, you're doing too much. You're, you're like in your game, you're not allowing yourself to recreate this distance, right? Okay. So when I say like attack with Nair to to build halfway, now you're like closer, and then you just like stabilize it. Right, you just stabilize the match until you get to this this distance. Okay, like I'm trying to like visualize like spots on the map, like this specific. Sorry, viewers, this specific spot, like on battlefield, like right there. Yeah, right yeah. in the center, like this little like orange little piece right there. Yeah. So it's like I'm trying to like put my nair right on like to one side of it or like on the opposite side of it. And do it in relation to the stage and to the, in relation to to Falco. Falco yeah, right? yeah, that will change like according to that. This is just like. Yeah. 
for now. Yeah. Um, but like right now, it, I guess it'd be just to the side platform. Uh, I just try to like whenever I try to like spacing, uh, like think of spacing on like each character. Like I want to space around Marth down to or like Fair mm -hmm. or like Falcon in this case Nair. So like his Nair reaches more or less. Well, I guess if he's yeah full hopping like max, like max dash. Oh, dashing. Yeah, if he's dashing, then it's huge. But also yeah, someone in chat says wave dash down. So you yeah. can, you can get closer with wave dash down. Right, you don't always have to cut the distance with Nier. No, I do that quite often, actually. Right, so you'll see this with a high-level play where they dash dance, and then they cut the distance, and then they look at each other. You, you need to just do more of these, where you do, you take a quick glance at the distance. Because otherwise, you're not going to accurately do it, right? Yeah. What, what do they say? Measure twice, cut once? Yep. Right? Yep. So you're not measuring twice. Okay. Ready? Try to think of it. Oh. Go! So low percent, that spot dodge is sick because I'm more likely to play. Okay. Right? And then a higher percent, I'm more likely to be your stun. So you want I shoot spot dodge more low uh at low percent. Yeah, okay. Right. To beat to beat spot dodge. Got it. Then once you're like higher percent, I'm gonna stomp or knee or touch it, right? Yeah. So that's when you're stationary stuff. To get the initial up beat. It's hard. Start. You just have to think of it like you're gonna armada shine with a up beat. Good roll. You never roll after tech chases on platforms. It's kinda hard to deal with. <coughs> I'm trying to think of like ways that I can I thought you were gonna tomahawk me. Oh, okay. What I was sh trying to show you was like I was doing these back ears. Yeah. And where you were gonna cut the distance in half. Yeah. Do you see like I move away and then back ear where I was? Yep. So instead of maintaining just a single spot where you're just standing in the same spot back earing, you're not only you're controlling that, you're also controlling the area slightly in front and above. Well, I'm I'm giving you the option to come in, right? Because I I know you want to get closer, right? I don't need to at this percent though. Was I? I thought I was just trying to hang back and like back air you. Um, Maybe I was. I, the I natural, I'd... the natural tide of the fight when we're here, mm -hmm. you you always come after me. Okay. It's just the natural tide of the fight. Okay. Right? Me specifically or Fox in most, general? Most foxes. Most, most players. So we'll okay. just when we're around this position, right? There are a lot of times where a lot of our approaches, if you look back on this vod, yep, will be you run from here, yep, and I'm doing like a stomp or a back air or like I come in, and then I and I time your run in. Okay. Right, so I'm just timing for you to run in, and there you, you just roll. So what I was trying to get at is it's very similar. 
where you're, you're trying to go from here yep. to center stage, and all I'm doing is baiting you in by pulling in, yep. right? And you rolled into this instead of dash. Okay. So try, try to think of it as the same thing. It's like when you move your body towards Falcon like this, really, you just needed to get to this spot again. Yeah. You just needed to, to be available outside of my back here as I was doing it. So right now, like, you're still spamming moves, right? So what I need you to do is just look at me as I do this back here and then hit me. Okay, I think I can understand that. Really? So it's like threaten back it really quick. Okay. Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm like standing so far away from you. The only way you can get hit is if you do max running. Got it. Yep. Right. But 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 you're still not cutting the distance in half. Right. Okay. There, there are a lot of times where you you you're doing max near like here, right? Mm -hmm. So like I'm trying to make you exactly. I'm trying to make you when you do your nair run into this bear, right? But if you start your nair. Or start like a little bit closer, right? There's no way can, my attack here can hit you. Yep. You just have to like wave dash down right outside of this range. And then, yeah, as soon as you confirm I do this back here, then you hit. Then I go in. Okay. Yeah. And then just punish the landing leg. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Go! Close of the distance a little bit on your near there. Well, okay, so you you were here and I was here and I kept you, on doing this back here. You were right there. Uh, no, no. Well, yeah. Or earlier than that. Yeah. Okay. So right after that, right okay. after you you cornered me, yep. we, we got to here. Yep. And basically, you did like this full hop approach on me, which was still maximum drift. Okay. And I was still just kind of doing this retreating back here. So what I'm getting is you need to, you need to stop your actions while while you cut the distance in half because there's too many times. You like stop your action, and then you do maximum jump, right? But you can like stop your action, get closer, stop your action, see this back air, and then just up smash or grab. Okay. But there's too many times you're still doing stuff, okay. and and then you're like, it's time to go now. It's time to go now. <laughs> but the the time to go is not based on you. Yeah. It's not based on because you can stop all the time. Yep. Right. The yep. timing to go is based on me. Yep. So you mess up yeah, yeah. So so stop doing so many things and being like my only window to go is now okay right no no your only time to win to go is is based on falcon okay hmm. Ready? Go. There you go. I'm so glad it did. It should be ideal. Yeah. I, I really thought it would push you up. Okay. Alright, so you, you keep dash dashing in and out, yep. but you need to just come closer and stop. I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit. I can't hit you. <laughs> you I can't, can't hit, hit you. me if I'm like. No, I can't hit you. You, you don't know the distance because you're still moving. Okay, so so well, I know the distance that you're gonna keep no, no, taking. No, no, stand here. Okay. Stand here. Yep. I'm here. Yep. And I I'm like. But, but no, no no yeah. When when I'm in this animation, mm -hmm. you can't be in this animation. Do you know why? Why? Because you're doing it here. There's zero percent chance I can hit you with this back here. While you're in this back dash animation over here. Yeah. Right. Right now there's zero percent chance of me hitting you with this back here animation while you're standing still. Okay. If you're threatening in the same spot, but like if you fade back or something like that. Well, even if I fade back from here, yeah. right? So basically, we were both fighting, and then I did this one. Yeah. If I jump again, you can hit me. Yeah. 
you can just intercept it. Or if I back here again, you crouch cancel a block or any of this, right? So don't so don't be scared of this. Okay. W what you what you need to be doing though is is stop moving while I'm I'm doing something that is punishable, okay. right? Because if you're in this position now, you're winning. Yep. But too often you're not in this position. Okay. I guess I just try to look for my spots too hard, if that makes sense. Like, I try to look, like, I wait for your timing, and then I try to intercept it, whereas there are You're still are more... moving. You're still, you should, you, if, if you want to look for those timings, you gotta stop moving. You, you literally have to stop moving. Okay. Because I feel like I, I just, I guess I, maybe I just don't understand enough, like, why I can't find it, like, something out of moving. I guess I can Because you're, you're in this animation. Yeah. You're, you're in lag, and not at the right spot. Okay. When, when you're not in lag at the right spot, then you're winning. Okay. But, but... There's 0% chance you're going to punish 